Hello my fellow gamers and welcome once again to Perafilos of SimCity Let's Plays. Let's go back to my gambling city. In the previous video I had placed the road network, some zoning, some civil buildings and I had started thinking of where am I going to plop my casinos and landmarks. That is where I stopped that. So we are back in here and we don't want too many sims to move in before we have made the final decision of where the landmarks and casinos are going to be. In order to make that decision, I need to plan where exactly the highland values and medium land values are going to be at. But since the landmarks themselves create some land value, I am having a problem thinking where exactly should I plot them. I need the landmarks and casinos to create the area in which hotels are going to show up from the commercial zoning. If these are the transportation hubs, then around them should go the landmarks and the casinos. I do have three landmarks to plop. I have decided to use the ones that can take in the largest amount of tourists. That is the Willis Tower, Statue of Liberty and the Empire State Building. Since that means three of them and I have three of these roads, I might as well go like this. The Empire State Building up here across the street from the bus terminal. The Willis Tower can go across the street from this one. And the Statue of Liberty up here into this corner. Well, that would be the three landmarks. Now let's see their, their effect is <laughs> quite big. They've created a lot of medium wealth land value. I guess I could plop some of those high wealth parks here, make high wealth area about here. I need the parks for that. Oh, no, it's power. How was the parks? Shift U. Yeah, Shift U is for the parks. These are kind of nice, but they are really huge. I do not need that big of an area. Let's say one over here and the other one on its back. Right about here. There we go, a high up land value. And we have a nice spot here for the hotels, while some residential over here. And that's pretty much all I needed. I could use some more high up maybe. Maybe not, I can always make them go into high density mode. Okay, well, that is about it. Down here, I will have my High Vault Hotel, the Elegant Casino. Did I say hotel again? I meant Elegant Casino. Over here, from which to which the High Vault tourists are going to be coming in from the ferry terminal. And I will hopefully have enough room here to create some High Vault High Density Hotels. So just need one hotel here for the Elegant Casino. I still have some low wealth areas over here, which is excellent because I want some low wealth hotels to create, to be created here. And now that I know that this is where those areas are, this is where I'm going to plop these simple gambling houses because they take in the most low wealth gamblers and therefore their hotels are going to be here. And the gambling homes are going to be here. Oh, here and here, actually. And once I know where to plop those, I will know where to plop the vertical streets. Ah. 
I know the, these guys won't grow up to medium density, but I might as well have some extra sims living here, even though they are at low density. Down here, I may have some more hotels, depending on where the casino ends up. It's pretty much everything that needs to be done here. I do have a huge minus, mostly because of the transportation hubs, but that's okay. I do have a lot of money in the bank precisely because of that. Okay, triple speed, go, 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 Sims! <laughs> I already have three criminals at large. Regional criminals. Damn you, regional criminals! Why must you come here and ruin my perfect city? There isn't anything even to rob here. There we go, petition to build a gambling house approved. Like I said, this one goes over here. And I should leave just enough space for a road here. Let's see, it can go like this. There we go, and now to plop the casino. I'm not sure can I get all of its upgrades to one side, but it's not really expensive. I can always bulldoze it if that's not the case. But there is one additional issue. The tourists themselves go in only at the entrance, not the expansions, and I want them to walk the least, the least possible amount, so it would be better for the casino to go here and the expansions to go on to the left. And this will probably end up costing me a lot because I'll probably destroy it a few times, but okay, plopping here. Now let's see if we need a sign, doesn't really matter which I choose. Now I'm thinking just low wealth, low wealth gambling capacity. I'm not going to use any of these attractions because the sci-fi casino can make good attractions. So I'm just going to use the capacity upgrades. Ah, damn it. Well, first, I guess. That's pretty annoying. Okay, let's say I plop it up here. Now let's see how long will it take for this gambling house to become profitable. <laughs> there we go. The first commercials are already turning into hotels. This so far is working very nicely. I still need workers, yeah. Well, I probably have too many shops compared to the amount of goods that these guys need. 330 goods! And I need 9. What the heck did I do? How are these things creating so many goods? Wow. Seriously. Oh, here we go. A hotel. Excellent. Now there will be less goods. 315. Okay, so I won't destroy them. I'll just leave them. There we go. Another one. Excellent. Now I love it when this game actually does what it's told to do. Although I don't really like the way it's using this space, but I guess I can minimax that later on. So, see how many tourists do I already have? Two and a half thousand, not bad. 1600 low wealth, 700 medium wealth, and 400 high wealth. What? No wonder these things got built. 
if I have so many high wealth tourists. What do we see here? 1200, 1200, 300, and 200. So I don't really need a new hotels, what this thing is telling me. Are these things making money? Yep, hand over fists. Actually, this one is not very full, and this one is empty. That's interesting. This one is absolutely full. All these two are empty. Well, I guess they will become fuller with tourists as their numbers grow. A town hall, like I said, uh, there should be interesting to try and find a spot for the town hall. Up here somewhere, maybe. Let me guess, you're going to create... Well, not too much, that's good. That's good. And now, naming part... Pera drop police. We are already in the green. Wow, I was expecting to be losing money far longer than this. 11,000 from city specialization. This thing must be earning a lot. Or not, not that much actually. These things, oh, these things have started earning good profit. 38,000 yesterday. 7,000 yesterday, 39,000 yesterday, that's good, that's pretty good. So how's the gambling house doing? 150 out of 300, well that's not a whole lot. What about the number of tourists yesterday? We ended up with 3,800. How many hotels do I have? I have these high volt hotels here. Some medium vault over here. <laughs> they are already ready to go up to intensity. Yeah, they are growing already in density. Whoa, guys! <laughs> this is amazing. Hotels are going up to medium density before even any homes can go up to medium density. Even the high vault, which usually are the first one to go to medium density, were beaten by the hotels. That's amazing. Well, since the gambling house on its own. It is profitable, but not very full during the day, and the landmarks are taking in most of the tourists. I think I will wait a little bit before popping another casino. So, what type of transportation are my tourists using? Buses! 3,500 low volts by bus, and 1,500 medium volts. Trains! 1,800 low volt tourists, 700 medium volt boats. 399 high volt and the planes 75 medium 25 high volt now why do I have so many sims commuting in what's this commuting in 300 low volt workers commuting in 2000 low volt shoppers and 500 medium ones how much freight am I getting almost a thousand that's excellent Not enrolled? 900 students not enrolled? What's up with that? What's going on here? Yo! Damn it! I forgot the school bus stops. I'm probably gonna have some criminals because of this. God damn it. That was a very stupid thing to forget. Okay guys, I hope you won't be pissed at me for this. And an additional thing, some parking rights are not a bad idea. Let's say one here. Not really sure, maybe better to plop some bus stops. Say one here, one here. One over here. Actually, that's where I plop the parking ride. Say one here, one here. Oh, that should be it. Okay, 
Let's keep running the city. Whoa, <laughs> that was a lot of happy faces. Yeah, they're definitely happy now that they have access to schools. Health seems okay. Police department I probably made a lot of problems for them with the lack of schools. Garbage is picked up. No fires. Seeing the fact how badly educated my sims are. It's incredible that they didn't burn down this city up until now. Okay, so this school day should be far better than the ones before. 5,600 tourists in that came in yesterday. Excellent. More buildings going up to medium density and I should pause now to do one additional thing. In the previous city I had not done this, but in this one I definitely need to choose where they are going to go up to medium density. So not on this one, on this street, so not on this one. Okay, that fixes that issue. And they are probably all ready to go medium density. Well, actually they are not. They are still yellow. Not too many green ones. The high volt though already went up in density and even some medium volt. The hotels are up and running as far as I can see. See just how many. Four hotels here, two here, two here. Low volt, a lot of hotels. So this thing, yesterday it made 36,000. I'm hoping to see about 50,000 today and if that turns out to be true then I can build the second gambling house. So we'll keep track of how much profits does this thing make today. So even though I had almost half the tourists I had yesterday, the gambling house made an increase of profit of about 50%. And I have unlocked my gambling HQ, which is going to definitely be necessary for this city. I just have to find a place for it to be plopped at. Okay, I will plop the HQ here. So, the, the gambling house made 53,000 profits yesterday with only 3,000 tourists. That means that I can definitely plop a new gambling house. Now let's try this time to fill up this space without having any emptiness. Plop it here. Assigned over here. And lower gambling capacity. Hmm, okay, one, two, excellent. Now I'm thinking maybe I should plop one medium wealth gambling capacity, but... Well, okay, I will plop one. There we go, the space has been pretty well used up. Let's take a look, everybody is now educated. The police, well, they're still okay, they don't have too many problems. Not sure just how many cop cars do I have. Four and four. Maybe I should add two more. It is a gambling city after all. The health, well, <laughs> I do seem to have a lot of injured and sick sims. That's probably because they weren't educated from the start. The fires have climbed to 8, but they are all being taken care of. Garbage also. How much power am I buying? I'm buying 13, 3.8, 8.8, water 8.5, 8.5 and the sewage capacity I don't even have to worry about. Now what's the problem? Casino is closed? No it's not. It got its workers. So what mission am I going to get? Big casinos cash in. Let's take to the next level. Upgrade the gambling HQ, add the gambling division, and have more profit. Ah, that's fine. Let's stay up there. Let's see where we at with the hotels. I now have two medium density high world hotels. I also have one medium density medium world hotel, and I have a low world hotels all over the place. And all these hotels 
except the high vault ones because they were built just now can already grow in density. Well, that wouldn't be a bad idea, but the problem is high density buildings require a lot of workers. So since my sims seem to be taking a long time to grow to their own medium density, I don't think I will be making any high density buildings in this city until my sims go up in density. I now have all the casinos unlocked and I could do plop this elegant one here and create this area for the high vault, but I think it's probably too soon. I only have around 3000 tourists. What's with the traffic jam? Seriously? 